Well, hello everybody, this is Valdez Spink and says welcome to my YouTube channel. So, I'm gonna talk about my reactions about the ending of Season 4 of Stranger Things and I'm going to be, to be as quick as I can because I don't want to spoil um, for my Hermione. My Hermione has seen the series, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, the ending was super amazing. Um, I did enjoy the season better than Season 3. Uh, the ending of this season was what amazing and before i started watching the season i watched a lot of like fan theories of like what we could expect and all that kind of stuff and the twist at the end was that none of those fan theories were true and um but also one of the things that i noticed was like i kind of knew who the villain who the villain was before even was revealed by the trailer i just kind of had that idea of like yeah that i think that one is the one uh, but what I didn't knew was that the fact that it was also related to one of the persons in the series But it did make sense. It kind of like close the loop close the gap like because What's the purpose of introducing somebody new or a, a certain new element, but you're not going to use that into the Into the series, but it was fantastic. It's like they give you a hint and they actually was part of it And it explains why that is happening um of course, a lot of things that I like was the fact that they also use the Satanic Panic 2. I've been playing the ND for quite some time. Uh, the first uh, game that I played was in early 90s, and um, 1990, I think. And I even had a computer game uh, called uh, Dungeons and Dragons Pool of Radians. And um, so seeing the Satanic Panic being used during the series was Quite interesting for me, you know, brought back some memories. Um, especially since I started playing Dungeons and Dragons, and then I stopped, my friend stopped because supposedly it was satanic, and I was attending a crazy evangelical high school, which made it very awkward to deal with that. Um, so, but yeah, but uh, yeah, DD being a thing uh, is what how they named the monster, call it, they call it Fegna, you know. Uh, um, also the elements of like seeing the characters as we get more into the story of Eleven and how she got her power we get more of a glimpse of that seemed to be like a wink wink to Stephen King's uh, the movie uh, Firestarter which is one very interesting movie where the child um, the protagonist of Firestarter she gets power from her dad because her dad was part of a uh, government experiment where they were trying to give people psychic ab abilities and she developed psychic powers when she was born um, which she's able to pretty much ignite things on fire um, and then uh, and then of course like um, was the actor from Nightmare on Elm Street being part of the series it also makes sense to add the element of um, of um, the element of um, Beck not being able to control and kill people from the upside down dimension even though he can also open portals and the kind of stuff but um, he doesn't need to be outside to kill people he can put people in a trance which is somewhat similar to what uh, Freddy Krueger used to do with people in Nightmare on Elm Street so very interesting um, now the ending of like the mentor of Eleven or the person who was trying to help her uh, get the power being um, get her powers uh, improving her powers um, being able to to show in the end that he was also the number one that that, that was quite interesting but I kind of suspect that when he mentioned oh yeah there was number one but we don't talk about number one and I'm like hmm that's interesting because we never hear number one until that point so how does he know if uh, they don't talk about number one you know how did you end up knowing if you were just a worker um, so that was relatively interesting um, and uh, in my opinion it made perfect sense and then of course Eleven to destroy one or to get rid of one just send it to dead dimension that doesn't have a name now we call it the upside down because they call it the upside down but just a dimension where apparently Eleven banished and that's how he became Vecna his speech was also quite interesting when he was uh, killing 
Dr. Ray Finchkin and the kids and uh, in the lab and then uh, before he killed Eleven. His speech was quite interesting about his motivation and then when he was talking to uh, Nancy and then I heard why he what he did like it was hardcore it was amazing it was the most interesting background that I could see I found it very interesting once and then finding that he felt sympathy for the spiders and then like nature pretty much wanted to get rid of humans that was interesting and scary too you know so so in my opinion it was a very good um, season better than season three and the twists and plots that they use was were fantastic definitely worth watching and i may probably watch it again if, when i get a chance because it was a really good series it was really 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 good Anyway, that's all I got for now. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.